Welcome ladies and gentlemen and call me the dream believer because that's all you and welcome back to another episode of Ashit Sara which upon a shooting star let's get right into the game we were at the cafeteria we were eating and now I don't know you Chan are you gonna go get permission for a part-time job now? That's the plan so who exactly do I have to talk to about that? All you gotta do is, to, is talk to our homeroom teacher and need to Need me to show you where the actual the fac facul faculty faculty room is? Nah, I've been there a few times already. Alright then. What kind of part time are you looking at for anyways? I haven't gotten to that point yet, honestly. And what about our cafe? At the moment it's just me and my dad doing everything, so we could totally use some extra hands. It's not really a maid cafe, so we are also looking for maid stuff. Hmm, yeah, I'll give it the thought. Yeah. I'll be waiting for your answer then on that too. We briefly wave at each other and then I head towards the hallway. By the way, the awkward circle's looking for a maester too. I feel like I won't be paid and the currency valid on this planet, so I'll pass on that offer. I receive permission fairly easily. Since uh, my homeroom teacher is aware of my family situation, he immediately consents when I say that it is to cover living expenses. That I am thankful for. However, when he's encouraged me with a keep your head up and I know you will be just fine, that makes me feel kinda, well, awkward or rather slightly irritated because it strikes me as metal Sam. I don't really consider my own situation as deserving of pity. With that out of the way, next I go up to the fourth floor where the third year classrooms are. There are th Three items on the list of things I need to take care of here before I go home. The first item was getting permission for having a part time job. Since I had already completed that, I then moved on to the next, or to the next, uh, to the second item, which is what brought me to this floor. This is my first order to, of business and searching for the lookout girl whose name I've lost, asking around for information. I scan the faces of the third years. As I pass by them in the hallway, I sneak a uh, peek into the individual classrooms and take a look at the faces of the girls currently indulging in that feeling of liberation brought about by the ending of the school day. I've forgotten the name of the lookout girl, but I still have her appearance to go off of. Luckily enough. Inside my memories, she's obviously still a child, but even if she has majored and changed since then, come on, facial features should exist. If any part of her appearance has carried through to her now, there is no way I would mistake it. That is why I decided to go around and take a look at the third year girls. The lookout girl, it sounds, so, it sounds strange, doesn't it? It sounds strange. The lookout girl was, the, was from Yubari Gazaki. Since we used to play together at the lookout, that was a fact I was certain of. Furthermore, she was older than me. She never told me her actual age. But judging by now, by now, by how she acted back then, I could safely assume so. If I took these bits of information into account, there is a chance that she was a student at Hibari High, or is right now. If she is a student here right now, then there. There's only one grade she could be in. If she never attended Yibari High in the first place, or if she did but already graduated, that would make this a fruitless endeavor. And so, I couldn't bring myself to discard the possibility as long as something was there. If I give up, on, I will only be haunted by regret. That is what my past self is telling me with a sore look. Sore look, 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 look however. A considerable amount of questioning gazes are piercing my way. <clears throat> That's only natural considering a student they've never seen before is wandering around and even going as far 
as to suspiciously uh, peek into classrooms only to leave again right away. It is a terrible uncomfortable feeling my desire to find her is starting to increase by the minute, yet I can't spot her anywhere. I've gone and checked all 30 classrooms but in the end there are no students that resemble her. Guess there's also the chance she already went home. School is over so that possibility certainly exists. Maybe it will be in my best interest to shoot for lunchtime instead next time. But still that wouldn't guarantee my, me getting a look at all enrolled female third years. If I, uh, for instance, went and peeked into all third year classrooms during class, I suppose I'll be able to see all of them. But if I actually went and did something like that, I'll be labeled a sketchy guy and more than likely earn myself a seat in the guardian's counselor's room afterwards. Guess I'll have to just resume my research or my search tomorrow. Besides, there's another method I can use to look for her. I chose to withdraw for today and instead head towards the library key next. All of the specialized rooms should be located on the second floor. I knew it! I, uh, believe me, I knew. I just thought she gonna appear. As I'm making my way towards the stairway, I spot another female student. Didn't see her when I was looking around just now. Maybe she was on a lower floor and just got back up here. Most likely she's a third year by the looks of it. However, she's undoubtedly not the lookout girl. The memories clearly inform me so. Isn't this the... Uh, what do you need at the third year's floor? She speaks out to me as we are passing each other. A second year transfer student, yes. Your classroom's on the, th uh, the third floor. Did you uh, wind up here by mistake, perhaps? Uh, uh, no, that's not the case. At that point, her toneless, gender neutral voice prompts my memories. This is my first time hearing it. What brings you here? This unreserved, aggressive demeanor, also. I never knew you were a student here. That I am. Finally remembered me, did you? Seems like she'll recognize me from the offset. I don't know her name, but she is the girl I encountered that one time in front of the fence on my way to the lookout. As I was saying, is there any reason why you have been peeking in the third year classrooms? Shh. She saw that? But how? Didn't see her anywhere while I was going around peeking into classrooms. Don't intend to answer my question. Let me ask you one thing before that. I'll reply to her question. How do you happen to know that I'm a transfer student? Why would I not? You mentioned the fact yourself during our pr prior encounter. That you will just recently move to Hibarigazaki. And our, and our homeroom teacher also informed us uh, beforehand that we will be receiving two transfer students today. Huh? So could I get an answer to my original question now, please? Well, I'm not really obligated to answer it, am I? I think you are, actually. <laughs> Quite pro Q isn't too popular these days, you know. Is it, is it not more so that it's simply proper antiquate in Japanese culture? Aren't you being a little uh, snappish towards me? From my perspective, perspective, that's precisely how you are right? I'm in a hurry, so I'll be going now. For whatever reason, I just can't deal with this person. Uh, in particular, that uh, scrutinizing gaze she keeps throwing at me like she's judging my soul. Well, I suppose I won't detain you if you have arrangements. 
I turn over my back towards her after she reacts strangely understandingly in a low voice and go down the staircase. Hmm. Since I am looking for the library by carefully paying attention to the plates sticking out above the doors, I immediately find it. The interior is pretty similar to the library at my old school. Maybe the li libraries of just about uh, any school look fundamentally the same. I suppose the checkout system should pretty much be the same too. <clears throat> or maybe not. They're using handwriting borrows cards. In the city, they used a barcode system to register who or has which book checked out. But I suppose handwritten cards to actually fit this town a lot more. Kugasaka-san, um. it's the kind one, yeah. When the girl sitting at the reception desk raises her head, it turns out to be Kosam-san. You're in the library committee, Kosam-san? I am. And I just happened to be on duty today. She places the bar of scars she had apparently been sorting uh, to the side of the desk. Ah, oh, sorry, don't mind me. If you have stuff to do. Oh no, it's not, it's not a problem. There aren't many students who come here to borrow books, so I never know what to do with my time. I can hardly spot any students in the library. It seems like there aren't, aren't many students who care to study. Another thing that is different from my last school. Unlike clubs, there are little to no students who want to join a committee willingly, so in a sense we are also hard presses, pressed for new members. Do committees also hunt for new members? Yes. Student council most particularly student council members aren't only chosen from those who volunteer for the position but often also through co recommendation. Well I highly doubt anyone who recommend a transfer student. Were you a member of a committee at your previous school? No, I wasn't. Any club then? Never joined any. I figured as, as such. Why is that? You were one of those that attended the cram school, weren't, weren't you? Uh, no, not really. Kasama-san tilts her head in puzzlement. That's surprising, I was rather sure of it. What gave her that idea? You see, I have knowledge of the score you received on the transfer exam. Huh? I was told by my sister, who is a member of the student council, she knows about it because apparently the student council has the duty of looking over students' grades. Seems like the student council here at the Hibari High has quite a lot of power. Gotta say I don't really want to get involved with them much. Did you tell my score to anyone else, Kosama-san? No, not at all. This, the student council doesn't make th uh, these kinds of things public either. So I believe regular students will know. Hmm. I heard the score you achieved was quite stellar, to put it mildly. So that was why she reckoned I used to attend cram school instead of having been a committee or club member. Huh? But I ask you to keep quiet, uh, to keep quiet about that, please. It's all fine and dandy. But if you uh, replicate that performance during later exams, everyone will know about it anyway. So they um, put up the names of all the students who score well here. All right. The highest 10 in each subject for both midterms and final exams. Look up at the ceiling with an expression of dismay. 
It's better. Nothing. You just, well, triggered a bit of traumatic experience. Oh, is that so? I think having excellent grades is something to take pride in, though. I was talking about something that happened after we would move away from here, but exactly after, I would just transfer to my new school. Being the egghead I was, I got the top score in every subject in my grade level. What was crucial here was... What was crucial here was... <laughs> These exams took place before my new guy status had worn off in the class, which in turn isolated me. According to Nini-san, the grade you mentioned to achieve during your transfer examination was so excelled uh, that if you continued to perform like that, you could very well be chosen as the representa representative, representative, representative of our grade level. So Nini-san. So Nini-san is... So Nissan is all set on scouting you for the student council. I figured I would advise you so you can watch your back. Give me a break. I don't want my trauma to flare up again. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to consult me. Uh, should things become bothersome for you. After all, while I am Nissan's ally, I'm also your ally. If all students were like kosome -san back in the past, I might have fit into my class without having to go through any hardships. I forgot to ask you, may I inquire what brings you to the, the library today, kokosaka Uh Oh yeah, right, there are some books I'm looking for. What books particularly? There are two kind of books I need. And both kinds are rather specific ones at that. As a member of the library committee, I can find you any book this library holds. You need but give me the word. Alright, then I'll take you up on that. Those I inform Kusama san of the third item on my agenda. Uh, could you show me Hibari High's yearbooks as well as any books you've got on memory loss? The yearbooks in order to confirm whether the lookout girl is a Hibari High graduate. The books relating to memory loss in order to cover her name. I want to do everything in my power to see it to it that our reunion comes true. Hibari this year marks the 55th year since the foundation of Hibari High. From there, you will find that there are 52 yearbooks, yearbooks in total. The reason why the numbers uh, don't match is that there weren't any gra graduates until the first generation students who entered as first years graduated. At the time of Hibari At the time of Hibari High's opening, the school building was apparently wooden. Uh, there had been neither a gym, a pool, a school, a cafeteria, nor any of the spe specialized rooms like this library. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, sorry. And uh, since Yumemi Hill itself used to only be composed of back roads back in the day, you couldn't say it was easy to reach the school even as flattery. There are specifically uh, several reasons why the school had been built at the location it was in spite of that. One of the reasons that is given is that the spot is on elevated ground. 
つ一年目にしてなんと天文部が存在していたんですよ。Oh, this is so interesting. Believe it or not, from the very first year of the school's life, there has always been an astronomy astronomy club. At that point, she then pauses briefly and gives an embarrassment smile. そんな伝統的な部が今ではテンクルと名を変えて、しかも部ではなくサークルになっていますけどね。But now, the club with such an extensive history behind it has had its name changed and even lost its status as a club, having turned into a circle. The, the Astronomy Club may have decayed in that fashion, but as For the rest, thanks to the cooperative of both the school and the town, through much construction and remodeling, Hibari High and Yumemi Hill have gradually become what they are today. I like to talk with her. She's so, she's so calm. She's so sweet, kind. Everything just fits. I'm deeply grateful to our predecessors, but I wish they had at least left a telescope behind for future generations. With that, Kasama san finished a little lecture on the school's history. The Astro Circle is a circle for stargazing, right? And you're saying they don't even have a telescope? That would be correct. According to what I've gathered, it grew too old and worn and was thus scrapped when I entered the school. This had already taken place. Then how do they even do any activities? Oh, okay. Technically, I have, have one telescope, but that telescope is a person belonging to Asu-san. Well, I don't know how much this is, but I guess it is something. She says that she saved up money she earned helping out at their family's cafe to buy one. A telescope that cost her a whole 200,000 yen. Why I say wow? One anime that I watched. Um, the student council president uh, catched. Uh, oh, I bet you know the anime, man, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I bet you know. She, uh, the student council president was someone with glasses, and uh, the hair was like um, something like this. You no, know, just one eye was uh, was opened. Let me call it that. Yeah, and she was blonde in a green tracksuit, I guess. She was smoking. He catched her smoking, and she was um, confessing to her and kissed her then and they got a couple it was like the best anime couple uh, 2017 or something like that so good and he was like do you um did you ever prostitute yourself or something yeah did you ever prostitute yourself something like that and uh, how, how much does it would it cost to buy you something like that you know he was joking there she was like uh, 100 000 yen she was like wow the money and they're like why do you have so much and she he was like that's not much for someone who well who makes those things it sound like that i don't know but i guess you know that you know, <laughs> that's why i said wow this is much and you know even 200 more than that, you know? that's pretty impressive Seemingly, it's still on the cheaper side as far as telescopes go. Asu san always talks about how she wants a better one. Asu must really love stargazing. <laughs> but that aside now, what do you want to do with the yearbooks? Well, I want to look through them, of course. <laughs> the yearbooks line up next to each other, or the next to each other in the library is a long table offer a magnificent sight 
that Said along quite literally speaks of how far the school goes back. May I inquire as to your reason for wanting to look through the yearbooks? If possible, I would like you to refrain from that. I understand. Well then, I'll go, I'll go locate the other books you need then. I am really thankful for Kusama san's consideration. Well, and here we're gonna end so, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you very so much for what this is so interesting. This is so interesting. It's really it puts me it's like it really want me it really makes me to want to know more and more, you don't want to know more and more about this game and how it's gonna continue with everything and everything. <sighs> yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very so much for watching. If you liked it, like, share, subscribe, and don't leave anything out. Don't leave anything out. And as always, remember, dreams come true. So what you to do? Just believe in you. And as always, remember. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, watch the money for me. Watch the money for you. Watch Violet Evergarden, Darling and the Franks, Boy Wa, Ame, Gani, No, Uni, and there are a lot more. But you should just watch those for sure as well. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy watching. <laughs>